The Wilder Snail Coffee Shop and Grocery, known for its eclectic mix of conscientious coffees and organic produce, will soon be offering something else on the menu. Consumer-generated electricity. The idea is to build a system where people coming to the Wilder Snail can sit and work on their laptop in a cafe like you see in many cafes, but we'll have custom designed stools with integrated pedal powered generators. So as you're sitting at the counter, you'll be pedaling and producing the electricity that you need to, to power your laptop while you're sitting doing your work. And really put people in touch with how we use energy on a daily basis because it all has to come from somewhere. As a former engineer and avid cyclist, Thompson hopes that his pedal stools can soon power more areas of the shop. Though he admits without government funding, his plans may have gone up in smoke. This would not be happening without this grant, so I think it's unfortunate that um, the funding is gone for, for more projects like this. Thompson is alluding to the fact that the funding for the $17 million Live Smart BC program has run out. And while the province admits that the program has been successful, balancing their other commitments leaves little funds to go around. We have a $400 million hole in our budget because of the price of natural gas in North America, which is going to make us have some tough decisions in the next year or so. Decisions Thompson sees as a lost opportunity. It's unfortunate because I'm sure there's, especially in Vancouver, there's, there are a lot of ideas like this. And yet only a few will ever be put in motion. Lucas Scott in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine. Thank you.